Hi there. Now I'm assuming you've watched the previous video on my website. If not, do go back and check it out. We looked at integrals that approached an asymptote. One of the ones that we considered was y equals 1 over root x, where I've got the curve here sketched for x greater than 0, and looked at trying to work out this integral here from 0 to 2 of 1 over root x with respect to x. And we found that we had to use this method here. And if we did, we found that it approached a value, 2 root 2, and we said that it was a convergent integral. So, as I say, if you're unsure of this method, do go back and uh, check it out. But what I want to do now is look at the same integral, but only this time from 2 to infinity. So if we just put those limits in here on the sketch, let's say then this is 2, and we're integrating from 2 to infinity. So we're looking at this area here. And in that previous video, I showed you that when you're dealing with something like this, let's just take it back to a point here, say, where x equals t. And if we integrate that now, we have the integral from x equals 2 to t of x to the power minus a half. Okay, remember that's the same as 1 over root x with respect to x. And if we integrate this in the usual way, then we get this result. 2 times all of x to the power half going from x equals 2 to x equals t. And if we substitute our values in, we end up with this result here. Now what we're going to do then is check out what happens as t tends to infinity. And in this example now, what we've got is that this first term, the 2 times the root of t, gets very large. It too tends to infinity. So we've got that 2 root t tends to infinity. So that means that our integral then going from 2 to infinity of 1 over the root of x, integrated with respect to x, has no value. We've got an infinite result here, minus 2 root 2. It's going to be basically undefined. OK, undefined. So what we have now is not a value, not like we had over here. Because it's undefined, we have what is called a divergent integral. You can see it gets bigger as that limit gets bigger, that top limit here. OK, so I hope this has given you an idea now what we mean by a divergent integral. OK, well, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be able to offer you some support in other videos if you're having problems.